You know, you and I have talked a little bit over the last you know, few weeks in particular about you know, what a marketing department needs to start doing to become more customer obsessed. And I know that you know, we, we looked at um, you know, three very, very important topics that align to that. And the first one being all around you know, being held accountable as a department and as a CMO with regards to revenue generation and what that all means. You want to kind of start the conversation off with the audience here around your whole viewpoints there, and we'll go off from that. Yeah, well, revenue is a very tangible thing. So the move to customer experience is an important one, especially about being obsessed. And revenue is often thought of net new customers. That's what a lot of us marketers who grew up in this era, especially around the marketing automation movement, um, or if you're in B2C even, that movement's been about acquiring net new. Well, the customer has a full life cycle. And that has really changed the dynamics of how we think about it. It actually gives us the opportunity to become obsessed because the process doesn't start when someone signs an order and we're done. We have a chance to service them, delight them, and continue to upsell and cross-sell. You started going into um, more around the MQL conversation. And I mean, that's a pretty hot topic right now for a lot of CMOs out there, how MQLs are mapping to SQLs. And... You had a really interesting point of view there. Well, I think um, CMOs are now clearly accountable for revenue. Uh, Marketing teams have been really gotten much better, especially with the the tools that are out there, the data that's out there of creating marketing qualified leads and turning them over to sales. Right. I think we've mastered that pretty well, but dumping a dump truck full of MQLs is not a solution. And the force from the other side is watching the C-suite and the board of directors talk about revenue in a different way. Closed one, renewals, upsell. So there's a little bit of tension right now. Right. And so the mandate by CMOs is to get out of the MQL business and get into the revenue business. And in the past, that's really been touted in the industry by the vendors. But you know, revenue marketing, you hear all these phrases, but it's becoming very, very real in, in marketing departments. You know, you talk a lot about the full customer life cycle and what that all entails. Does education come into play there, you know, with regards to getting that mindset to change a little bit and adjust a little bit to not just be so much on the numbers driven side with you created this many leads, you moved this many leads down to conversion. What's that all look like now? Well, I live in the real world as a CMO and getting to work with lots of B2B marketing organizations. So you still have to be able to present and have the numbers 100% for sure. And so you need to build a predictable, scalable model that works, um, that has some agility to it, that's constantly being optimized. Mm -hmm. That's where a conversation starts. Uh, But there is education about really touting the full customer lifecycle and talk about both the revenue opportunity, uh, renewal, retention, lifetime value, these uh, key uh, KPIs, these indicators that are so important to give the full picture. And that does start with a lot of education and making sure that you have your own playbook and dashboard in order. Uh, I think you're in a lot more credibility by showing that full process. You know, I mean, later in the conversation, we're going to talk a little bit around how does a marketer start to look at tying revenue to the life cycle of a customer? I mean, typically they brought it to a certain point in the funnel and then they've not washed their hands of it, but they've you know, pretty much stepped aside and let internal processes take over at that point. Is that starting to come underneath the marketing department's role and responsibility? Absolutely. So in a couple of ways, one is your analytics and KPI, you have to see through to the end. So doing a closed loop on what's working and seeing that all the way through, not just to a conversion from an MQL to an SQL, uh, but really seeing it through to becoming a customer. And then looking at where that current customer base is and what kind of customer marketing are you doing to move from a net new customer to a customer that's investing more with your company, uh, a company that is um, renewing, for example, if you're in a a more of a subscription-based business in the subscription economy, Right. Or are they adding on new products and revenue? So upsell, cross-sell become important. And those tools are there today. 
Um, we just have to have the patience and persistence to be able to adopt the right tools at the right time and then use the data and analytics to be able to do that. Yeah. Easy to say, harder to do, right. but that's where the winning marketing departments are making impact. Yeah. And there usually isn't this aha moment that everything comes together. You're constantly working on being, bringing your processes, your technology, your data together um, to deliver on that predictable, scalable model in the full customer lifecycle. Thank you.